Wow! Slides! Hey guys, should I go on this slide? again okay okay should I try that one hmm wow it is cool huh. wow you're having fun yes but something is wrong with this light this is very hot. Oh, this slide is made of metal. It is a good conductor of heat. It takes heat from the sun and transfers the heat to anyone who touches it. Hmm. But sun rays are falling on this light too. But it does not feel hot. Look closely. It is made of different material. It is called plastic. It does not absorb or transfer heat. Oh, so few materials absorb and transfer heat. But others don't. <laughs> yes, you are right. Few materials like metal let heat go through. These are called conductors. Hmm. So this light is made of metal. It lets the heat go through it. So it is a conductor. Yes, metals are good conductors of heat. And this light is made up of plastic. It does not let the heat pass through it. So, it is not a conductor. Yeah, some materials do not allow heat to pass through them. These materials are known as insulators. Hmm, conductors and insulators. Guys, do you understand it? Can you show me more examples? Let's check those benches. Touch it carefully. Ouch! It is hot. Can you guess what material it is? Oh, this material is made up of metal. That is why it is letting heat pass through it. It is a conductor of heat. <laughs> you are right. This bench is made up of metal and metals are good conductors of heat. Okay, now let's go to the other type of bench. I am not going to touch it. I don't want to burn my hand. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me touch it. See? Nothing happened. You can also try. Hmm. It is not hot. The material of this bench seems to be made up of some insulator. Yes. This bench is made up of wood. And wood is an insulator. It does not let the heat go through it. So guys... Now we know all about insulators and conductors. Hold on guys, there is something more. Now what is that? There are electrical conductors and electrical insulators also. Electrical conductors and electrical insulators? What are those? To learn about those, we need to go home. Wow, is this an electric socket? Yeah, but it is incomplete. Oh, is that why the bulb is not lighting up? For that, we need to complete the circuit. Hmm, you said it right. You are a genius boy. Let's try to complete the circuit with things lying here. Here is a paper straw. Let's complete the circuit with the help of it. Okay, let's try. Oh, bulb does not light up. That means a paper straw does not let the electric current pass through it. Yeah, paper does not let current go through it. It is an electrical insulator. Oh, now I get it. The materials that do not allow electricity to pass through them are known as electrical insulators. You're right. Let's try this spoon. Wow! The spoon lets the current pass through it. That makes the bulb light up. 
Yeah, the spoon is made of metal and metals are good conductors of electricity. Oh, metals are good conductors of heat as well as electricity. Yes, let's try this wooden chopstick. Hmm, bulb does not light up. We found in the garden that wood is an insulator of heat and now we see that it's an electric insulator also. You got it right. So now you know about insulators and conductors. Hmm, can you tell me something about this wire? Why is it covered with plastic? Plastic is a good electrical insulator. That is why it is used to cover materials that carry electricity. The plastic covering that surrounds wires is an electrical insulator. It stops you from getting an electrical shock. Okay, I know all the electricity supply in our home comes through these kind of wires. So now you know the difference between insulators and conductors. Yeah, conductors are those materials that let current or heat pass through them and insulators are those that don't let current or heat to get through them. Correct. I have a question. Why some materials are conductors but others are insulators? Good question. For that we need to look inside the insulators and conductors. I know all materials are made up of atoms and every atom has a nucleus in the center and electrons moving around that nucleus. Mm, yeah, and in solids, nucleus remain fixed at one place but electrons can move from one place to another. But insulators and conductors look similar. What is the difference between them? Okay, look at this. In conductors, electrons are very loosely bound to the nucleus. They can move freely. There is no resistance in their movement. But in insulators, electrons can't move freely. So in insulators, everything is stuck. Neither nucleus nor electrons can move. Whereas in conductors, only nucleus is fixed but electrons can move. Mm -hmm, yes, these are called free electrons and movement of electrons is called current or electricity. That is why current can flow through the conductors. Hmm, look here. The electrons can't move on their own. They need to be forced by hooking the conductors with a battery or giving them some heat. With the electric force or heat, electrons start moving or start transferring energy to the next atom. Oh, that is how heat or electric current pass through conductors. That's correct. Free or loosely packed electrons in conductors are responsible for the flow of electric current in conductors. And in insulators, the electrons are very tightly packed, so they do not let current to pass. So guys, today we learned about conductors and insulators. You can revise other units also on Make Me Genius channel. And please, please press the like button. Thank you. Bye-bye.